Well, we're at the Technology and Engineering Emmy Awards, and David Polk has not only hosted it for the past how long? Uh, this will be my fourth year. Yep. He's hosted it three years before, and they keep calling him back. <laughs> Must be my low, low rates. Because they save on a band. <laughs> That's right. I, I will be tickling the IVs a couple of times this evening. Do you find that there are a lot of musicians in high technology? You know, there's definitely, with regards to the brain, uh, something that ties in between creativity and technology. You know, many doctors are also musicians, many coders are, are also musical. So there's something going on about rule-based th thinking. That's my theory. But as a technology writer originally with, uh, with New York Times, uh, and how about before then? What's that? How about before the New York Times? Where did you write? Oh, so uh, I started out writing for computer magazines. So I wrote reviews of software for 13 years, and then I went to the Times for 13 years, and then I went to Yahoo three years ago. So by that pattern, I have 10 more years to go at Yahoo. <laughs> but t tomorrow, Sunday morning, you're, you'll be doing a, a, a story on a CBS Sunday morning, hosted by Jane Pauley, and instead of uh, putting you in the back pages, where will your story be? Yeah, so my, my story is what they call the cover story. It's the opening story. Um, so it's, we get extra time to tell our story. It's about virtual reality and augmented reality. Um, one of which I think is overhyped and the other of which I think is underhyped and not getting nearly enough attention, so. Uh, which is which? Well, if you turn on the TV at 6 a.m. Pacific, you'll find out. <laughs> right off for people who are watching this next year. What's that? For folks who are watching the story next oh, year. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I, I think that virtual reality is probably a little overhyped. It's, it's fantastic for game playing, obviously, but people are saying it'll replace movies. No, it won't. Um, you know, it's hot, it's sweaty, it makes you sick. It's, it's uh, a little isolating. It's a lot isolating. Um, whereas augmented reality, you're putting on a, a goggles that are clear, and the, the computer superimposes graphics on the world around you seems like there are many more applications of, of that technology. For people who haven't seen Pokemon Go, is Pokemon Go the... That is a classic augmented reality app, and now you know why it became so popular. And same, same thing with Snapchat. You know, when kids make it look like they're vomiting rainbows, that's augmented reality. Microsoft HoloLens is augmented reality. Yeah. What's it like trying to entertain a room of engineers? You know, they're fantastic. It's kind of like... You know, I'm, I'm on TV a lot, but, but I'm also a tech guy. So I feel like, you know, ich bin engineer. You know, I feel like I speak a little bit of the language. Um, and they evidently think I do just enough. So <laughs> they keep having me back. It seems like, like you uh, exalt the idea of technologist and engineer, and, and you make people feel proud of, of their profession. You, you're absolutely right. From the first year I, I hosted this show, that's been my point, that that we are not televised, we are in a ballroom in a hotel. You know, the daytime Emmys get a lot of press and a lot of television, and that's, that's considered super important. But I would say that without these guys, those guys wouldn't have a show. There would be nothing on TV to see. So yes, actors, great. I'm glad you were born with beautiful genes. But these guys got here through intellect and ingenuity and innovation. And so in the same way that uh, actors may be inspired by watching certain Emmy Awards, would you hope that young people might be similarly? I would. I, would, I honestly wish more people knew about this event. I mean, I don't write, the, I don't choose the awards, I don't write, I, I help write the script, but, but most of it is, is done by the Academy. Um, and every, every year I see, you know, these, these things that we take for granted, like the, when you watch a football game, there's that line of scrimmage that seems yeah. painted on the how do they do well that was an engineer who came up with that and won an emmy for it and like every one of these things we take for granted was a breakthrough and i think it's important that we recognize them anything else you'd like to talk about no that was great you have a book to plug uh, <laughs> yeah my new one is pogues basics money it's all these like ways to beat the system and save money uh through little little known loopholes in the system is it available online? It is. It's uh, electronic or in paper. All right. Thank you so much.